is cybersecurity recession proof? This is a question that I've been seeing a lot lately, obviously because of the current state of the economy and talks of recessions. And I wanted to make this video to cover the topic of recession and cybersecurity and how that affects actual job prospects, layoffs, and everything in between. So on this channel, I primarily talk about cybersecurity careers. And one thing that comes up often is job prospects. And I do want to start off with the short and sweet answer of this question for whether or not cybersecurity is, is recession proof or layoff proof. And that is no. There are companies out there who are laying off cybersecurity professionals or cybersecurity teams. Maybe they're lowering headcount on their teams or cutting back on budgets. Just a quick Google search of cybersecurity layoffs. You'll probably see many different articles telling you about the actual layoffs that are happening at different cybersecurity companies, whether they're, whether they're cybersecurity consulting firms or provide some kind of service or product-based tool like a SaaS. But just on the topic of layoffs, I don't think that there is a 100% guaranteed job out there that is recession proof unless you're the president or work for a public office in which case you likely will not be fired during a recession for most employment in the u.s which is at will companies can let you go at any time without any reason and and while that isn't the main topic of this video i do think it's something to keep in mind that the whole u.s employment system is really like a no strings attached system you're technically able to quit whenever you want to and your employer can technically let you go whenever they want to. And I know that sounds very doom and gloom. So even for roles in technology that are highly sought after working at companies that really need the talent, there may still be times where the same companies are going to lay off part of their workforce. And while I do still think that cybersecurity professionals are less likely to get laid off than other fields and sectors that are more so impacted by a recession like hospitality or marketing or, or areas that specifically rely on a booming economy. So I wouldn't necessarily take this as if cybersecurity is not recession proof, then I won't go into cybersecurity. I still think overall cybersecurity is a very well-rounded field and you still have relatively a lot of job security. But what I think it also comes down to is overvaluations of companies and over hiring, which companies have been doing a lot of over the pandemic and, and even big tech companies who are hiring thousands and tens of thousands of employees are realizing that they have put out a little bit too much and hired too many people. There have definitely been companies in the last few years who have overhired and now they realize during a recession that they have too many people on the team and, and that does lead to layoffs. So this brings me to a question of, of whether or not other companies are still hiring for cybersecurity jobs and estimated how long it would take to get into a cybersecurity role or to fill a cybersecurity role. Okay, so the good news is even with the layoffs that are happening in cybersecurity across the tech sector and across many sectors, outside of technology as well. Yes, there are definitely still companies hiring for cybersecurity roles, and I don't think that's going to go away, even during times of recession with record high inflation numbers. Like I mentioned in previous videos about cybersecurity and, and the job security that is in the field. But again, of course, no job is ever 100% secure because of the employment at will in the US. And that is also something I always keep in the back of my mind as well. No matter how secure I feel in my job, I still know that my employer can technically fire me whenever they want to. And so the important thing to know is that other companies are still hiring for cybersecurity roles out there. So if you're someone who did get laid off or looking for a job during the recession, there are still opportunities out there to get into cybersecurity, whether you're entry level or early career, especially mid and senior level cybersecurity professionals, just looking through job posting websites like LinkedIn, Indeed, Monster.com, Dice.com, as well as Google Jobs, which is my favorite place to look for jobs. All these are awesome resources and places to look for jobs and many of them still have thousands and tens of thousands of roles in cybersecurity that are still looking to hire so i do think that's a very good sign from a perspective of someone who is prospectively looking for a job in cybersecurity now again i don't want to be naive and assume that the job prospects are exactly the same as pre-recession times because obviously there have been changes in hiring freezes across many different companies from big tech companies to smaller companies who may be taking a more defensive position or or just hiring less and kind of waiting out the recession to see what their budgets are going to look like and the specific roles that they're looking to fill in but even times like these i feel like because cybersecurity professionals have such a good skill set to be able to take from one job to another there are still opportunities for you to find employment outside of the nine to five structure for example if you are looking for a cybersecurity role and you did recently get laid off then one thing that you can do is do freelancing or contract work and these are two avenues i think are 
are very overlooked sometimes when you're looking for jobs typically for freelance and contractor jobs you'll probably be working for about three six nine twelve months contracts and while those contracts may not come with the exact benefits of medical of medical vision dental care and a new 401k that typically comes with a nine to five full-time job i still think it's a great buffer or kind of like a stepping stone if you're in between jobs and are finding it hard to find a permanent full-time job again i say permanent but kind of with air quotations because no job is really permanent in the US in my opinion. But if you have any experience at all, even with entry level and early career, even the skills that you learn in school or in a boot camp can still be transferable to a small business that is looking for a cybersecurity freelancing professional or someone to give some kind of advice or consulting for a company's security policies or procedures. So just being able to have these hard skills that you can take to many different roles is really important. And just because a cybersecurity job in general may not be considered risk recession proof, I think your skills are definitely considered recession proof just because you can take it to so many different areas and you're very likely going to find a job much quicker than someone else who is in a different sector outside of cybersecurity or outside of tech. So when it comes down to how long it takes to fill in the cybersecurity job or a cybersecurity role, there are different studies out there. Some say three to six months, some say 50 days. And honestly, it'll all depend on the company and how hard they're really pushing, especially when it comes to hiring freezes and, and the outreach that recruiters are doing. But typically these are higher numbers than IT roles. And I think that can mean a few different things. For one, it may just mean the companies are very picky with their cybersecurity candidates. And maybe there is just a higher bar to get into cybersecurity roles at various different companies and then another side of it may be that there just aren't enough cybersecurity professionals applying to these roles and that's why the roles and job postings are open for so much longer than IT roles and while I think both sides are very valid and probably very true depending on the scenario the one that you as a job candidate or job prospect actually has control over is is the skills and experience that you have for your cybersecurity skill set I know I've brought up many times on this channel about, about the article that states that there are going to be 3.5 million unfilled jobs in cybersecurity by 2025. And, and even during a recession, I don't believe those numbers are really going to be slowed down. Obviously, I don't expect the job market and the job prospects for cybersecurity to just go up and up and up. If there are times of recession, there is no doubt that it may plateau or go down. But again, once companies are hiring more and no longer having hiring freezes and hiring for specific roles and looking to fill specific roles in cybersecurity, I still think those job openings are going to be there. And internationally, there's going to be a huge need for cybersecurity professionals. And I think one of the most important things that you can do to take action and actually benefit and grow during this time of uncertainty is really just to sharpen your skills, focus on your skill set and experience as well as keep up with different cybersecurity trends so that if you do find yourself being in the job market looking for that next cybersecurity job or even looking for your first cybersecurity job you're still able to prove to employers that you spent your time learning new skills picking up new tools understanding different attack vectors or learning about nation states or doing some kind of personal project around cybersecurity to show that you're passionate about the field and that you're always continuously learning even on your own and i think that's one of the most important things about job security is that when you're someone who is always keeping up with trends, always learning new skills, always bringing up the latest and greatest in cybersecurity, it just makes it that much harder to replace you in a job. And again, I'm not saying that it guarantees you job security because I don't believe that there's any job in the world that is 100% secure at all times, but it definitely does add an additional level of job security. When you're someone who has become so integral and so important and irreplaceable to a team, your employer will know that. And it definitely makes it harder to replace you, your skills, your experience, your knowledge about the company's products and services. So hopefully watching this video gave you some sort of sense of security or maybe the opposite, I don't really know, about having a job in cybersecurity. And even while there is no guarantee that cybersecurity jobs are recession proof, I do think that the field itself is in a better position than maybe some other fields out there, than some other sectors out there who may be directly affected by recessions or times of uncertainty. All right, so that's it for this video. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I actually haven't sat down and filmed a video in and filmed a video in about a month just because I've been working on my cybersecurity course and this will probably be coming out later this year towards the end of the year probably around November and December and this will be on how to get your first job in cybersecurity and in the course I shared every single resource that I've used personally to get my first job in cybersecurity as well as my second job in cybersecurity so hopefully that will be helpful to you guys but again thank you guys so much for watching but hopefully you guys didn't notice at all that I was gone because I typically batch upload and batch edit videos so I've still been posting two times a week but it just so happened that I did all that ahead of time 
to prepare for this course. But yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.